السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. أفضل الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. اللهم علمنا بما نفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما. اللهم علمنا بما نفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما. اللهم علمنا بما نفعنا ونفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما. اللهم آمين. ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري. So uh, I, I wanted to start off by uh, thanking you for, for uh, joining our, our uh, living our best version of ourselves. Uh, this is um, really, a, uh, this is where we're picking off or picking up from where we left off uh, before Corona. So this is uh, really, an, uh, I'm really excited uh, uh, for this class. Uh, the first session uh, today is going to be uh, about uh, 20, uh, 20, 25 minutes or so, inshallah. I do want to keep it sh uh, short today uh, just because uh, tomorrow is, uh, um, is the day of Arafah, inshallah. Uh, and some people, uh, I just want to keep in mind that uh, some people may be, may be fasting. Uh, so today is going to be the, the, the shortest uh, session. These will typically be about... Uh, 40, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, uh, and and they'll they'll vary in, in length because there's there's a lot to go over. So I'm I'm really glad that uh, that you're joining. Jazakum uh, Um Can I just get you to comment about uh, your name, Mezgid Mezgid Rats? Um, who who else is is on, is with us? Uh, inshallah, if you can just comment uh, your your name, and also. Uh, if you took part in the first session, so if you took part in the first session, uh, that would that would be very helpful because um, then I can know uh, whether to start from scratch, so to speak, or and then pick up from there, or uh, uh, or essentially, you know, uh, take a little bit of time to review some of the material that we had from from the past sessions. So uh, yes, please share. Please share your comments uh, regarding if you attended the first session, and also um, I also want to open it up at, at some point, inshallah, during the, this uh, during this uh, live stream. To okay, if you attended the first session, uh, where are you at now? Right. So we talked about many things during uh, during that first session. Uh, among them, and probably one of the most important ones, uh, was the the hierarchy of intentions. So, if you recall, uh, you know there were almost like the higher the uh, Maslow's hierarchy, right? There were the hierarchy of intentions that uh, that we have, and when uh, so there were about uh, six uh, levels to that hierarchy, and we were to essentially review ourselves against each of these against each of these levels. Now, what would be the hardest level to attain? Those of you that attended um, would know that uh, what the hardest level to attain is. And by the way, um, today, uh, today's session, uh, I, had some, uh, uh, I had some issues with the software um, for, for sharing my screen. Uh, but in the in the uh, next sessions, inshallah, um, in the next sessions, inshallah, we are going to um, be ha we're going to essentially be having a, a Kahoot competition and challenges, and uh, we're going to be essentially going over uh, um, some of the some of the uh, uh, some of the fun things that we. Uh, that we had during our last session. So the last session, uh, we had our Kahoot competition, and and uh, Jenna uh, won the two hundred fifty dollar prize to go to nowhere because the can the convention was canceled. Uh, but I, I she does uh, she does uh, have that two hundred fifty dollars that will be applied to the next convention whenever that may be, inshallah. So. Um, Ibrahim responds here with the highest being the hardest to attain. That's true, but do you know what level 
what's the name of that level? The highest level is the hardest, but what is the name of that, uh, that level, Ibrahim? Um, so, so back back to my point. Uh, essentially, uh, uh, we're going to have uh, Kahoot challenges uh, uh, across uh, the, the the sessions that we will have in the future, inshallah. Uh, so, please keep that in mind, and then um, you know we'll we'll see how how uh, how people respond, and then we can get uh, different prizes uh, going forward as well, inshallah. So, um, one of the things. Uh, that, that we hit upon, right, uh, was the hierarchy of intentions, as I said, but we also hit upon the gardener's mindset versus the carpenter's mindset, right? And that's the, the idea that a, 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 a gardener's mindset, he is relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And is, he, he, makes his, uh, he makes his best effort or she makes her best effort uh, regarding, uh, you know, regarding something that they're pursuing or something in their life, they make their best effort, and they're willing to accept the 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 decree of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So a gardener's mindset may be putting in a, 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 a lot of effort towards the crops and towards the plants, and and you know there may be a bad season, right? There may be a hurricane that wipes everything out, right? And they're depend completely dependent upon Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and they accept. Uh, uh, those um, those risks, right? The carpenter's mindset, right, is a little bit more worldly, and, and, and I'm talking about this world. So, the carpenter's mindset, they may be worried about exact measurements, and if things don't go exactly as it's supposed to be, then there's a, a, a bunch of stress and, and a boatload of of stress and and um, and uh, aggravation that they, they have to deal with. So that's a little bit less than accepting of, of the will of Allah SWT, right? So we, we went through several, uh, several of these uh, uh, advices during the, the, during the first session. So one of the other uh, words of, of advice that we, we covered during our, our first sessions was to write things down. And I, so I myself, uh, I write things uh, down pretty, uh, actually, we, I write them down daily. And I'm actually something, that's actually something that I'm trying to enforce with my children as well. So the, the idea behind writing it down is that it provides clarity. It provides clarity to your goals, to your actions for the day. It could be even a, a, a to-do list. And one of the advice uh, one of the bits of advice that we got from the second session that, that I took with uh, uh, with the folks from Productive Muslim is uh, is essentially uh, recording observations in a muhasaba journal. Now, a muhasaba journal, I actually love that idea, and I actually keep one here for myself, um, and in it. I have, you know, we have, I have sections that break, break out the day into half hour time slots. And the, the, I put in things that I want to accomplish for that day. And if you remember when we were in the prior session back in February, I believe, we went over a, a famous quote from Imam Ghazali regarding the structure, the structure of your day. And he, his advice to us was, and remember, see the wisdom behind this, because th this is this is somebody who's lived hundreds of years ago, who doesn't have the technology and advancements that, that, that we do today, but he knows the heart, okay? He knows the heart. So he says that we should be essentially structuring our day around our prayers. And that's essentially a, a, a big part of uh, the, the focus I, I put on, on that quote. So during my, the first thing I fill out every day, when I'm going to be making my prayers, Salat al-Fajr, Salat al-Dhuhr, and Asr, Maghrib, and Isha, and then not only 
uh, putting in the, the five daily prayers, but what is to come after those daily prayers? And it could be personal, it could be pro uh, professional, could be anything, but put down things that um, that you're going to be putting, uh, that you're going to be doing uh, after your after your prayers. So this is uh, uh, one of the, the the best advice that really came from uh, from the second session again with uh, a productive Muslim and uh, the the uh, the leader of this program was was Dr. Brock. I'm sorry, uh, Dr. Abdullah Rahman. Uh, Dr. Brock is actually going to have a session on on, on Saturday, inshallah. But um, so Dr. Rahman took us through um, every week having an activity centered around the Muhasaba Journal, recording our, our observations in, in the Muhasaba Journal, right? Something bothered me this week. So I would write, you know, I would write down why that would, why that bothered me. And that would really lead to observations about myself, right? Um, and, and, uh, and for you as well. And one of the things I think, especially during these special days of, of uh, Zulhijjah, is the idea of silence and looking inwards, being internally focused. Because, you know, sometimes externally things could be distracting. You know, you have your phones, you have your obligations, family and notifications. And, you know, sometimes things are, are you know, really out of control but when you are in control internally you really can can then uh, uh, put controls on on those distractions as well but again i uh, i think that the idea behind uh being internally focused especially during during these days is taking the example of sayyidina ibrahim السلام, you know he brought uh, sayyida hajar from you know from uh land that she you know she was that was known to her and she he took her to a land unknown to her and as a matter of fact there was it was a complete barren desert and she asked him you know why are you leaving this here and he didn't he was silent he didn't answer her okay the other example of 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 uh, silence uh, was a seda a seda miriam uh, when they're asking her where did you get this baby from Right, so silence, uh, and there's a hadith on the Prophet وسلم, where there's so much benefit uh, in 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 silence, and so much wisdom that's to be gained from from silence. So here, here I would suggest again is uh, the 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 sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, is to um, even before the 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 way was to go to. Uh, uh, the cave for meditation, for so you know, for some solitude. So es especially again in these days of Zul Hijjah, these special ten days, the ten best days of the year, you want to look inward. You want to be. Uh, um, you can s spend time in, in solitude and and really intro be introspective and uh, really look inwards uh, towards. Um, where are you today against where you want to be? Where are you against, you know, you know maybe uh, you came across a situation that, where you acted in a, in a way that's pleasing to you. And maybe you acted in another instance in a way that's not pleasing to you, right? Write these observations down in your Muhasaba journal because it really uh, will give you some insights in, 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 into yourself. And like I said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has a hadith on, on uh, the benefits and the wisdom that are uh, attained from, um, from, the, uh, from solitude and from, uh, from silence. So uh, again, um, I, 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 I fill in this, this uh, Muhasaba journal. I have it. Um, uh, I fill it out every, practically every day. And I have it even aligned with... I have my daily activities, and then I have on on uh, in my room. I have a vision board where I have goals that I see for myself in one year and, and in five years. So, how am I going to accomplish these? So, the 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 goals that are on on the big board have to be aligned with what I've placed here, and then everything I accomplish, I 
I, I knock it off. I, I can cross it out. Um, but in, in, in again, in these, uh, in the Muhasaba journal, uh, write things, write things down that are that you're grateful for. What are you know? What are today's targets? What do you want to accomplish today? And again, they should be aligned with the 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 overall vision that you have for yourself in one year down the road, five years down the road, right? So just to use myself as an example, uh, I, I wrote down that uh, I wanted to I wanted to learn uh, cooking. Uh, during during uh, during this year, and that's actually something that I've actually uh, made some progress on. Alhamdulillah. Uh, you can ask my kids whether they they feel that I've made the progress they need. Uh, but for myself, I feel like I've made that progress. Uh, and actually, one of the one of the things this week is I'll be um, taking my first attempt at kushri, for example. So again, you want to have. And it, it, um, the 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 person the humanity is happy, uh, or any human being is happy once they feel they're making progress. If you're not making progress, then you feel stuck, you feel stale, and what, what happens is is that everybody else is is surpassing you. So it really it really depends on on on. Uh, the, the, the goals that you set for yourself and the fact that you want to uh, uh, make progress. Uh, and if you're learning, you're growing, you're making that progress that, that I mentioned, that's going to go a long way towards making you feel happy, uh, inshallah. Um, the other thing too is, um, is that when you are, when you have a, a, a blueprint, uh, typically what happens uh, when you're when somebody's unhappy is they have a blueprint for their life and they see uh, that blueprint is not matching the reality of, of, of their life. So in that instance, you know they, they they're uh, typically are, are unhappy. So we're going to go through exactly uh, exactly what to do uh, in, in those instances during the, the course of the next uh, six weeks inshallah and uh, ideally, um, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna um, be able to share uh, share the screen and, and and go over these these uh, uh, these items one by one. So um, one thing uh, that uh, that we'll be covering in, in, in the weeks ahead is uh, the. If you recall, uh, we said in al Nasr al there are certain cer certain levels uh, to the soul. So al Nasr al-Mutma'inna, al Nasr al Luwama, and al Nasr al Amarat al So we translated these to be the, the soul of tran uh, tranquility or the soul of uh, uh, certainty, uh, the, the regretful soul being al Luwama. And then al amara the 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 sinful or or uh, you know the the, the sinful uh, so the one that's essentially taking you down to uh, to commit uh, the the quote unquote evil deeds. So in Nasr al is probably the 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 one area that uh, we're most uh, mo is most common uh, for 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 uh, the majority of us. So. What we have to do is work our way up to al nafs al um, and and Dr. Rahman uh, really has a, a uh, an amazing uh, graphic that really takes you through those those three levels. It goes covers the the, the fitra, and that's what we'll be sharing uh, next week, inshallah. Um, so for 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 the moment, uh, we'll we'll. Uh, We'll push that to, uh, to, towards next week, like I said. But uh, for, for, for now, it's in Nafs al Mutma'inna, in Nafs al Lawama, in Nafs al Amarat al Su. And then he also covers the Fitra, uh, the Ruh, uh, and, and the Nafs. And the, the Ruh is, um, is leading us to our better nature uh, and is leading us towards the Akhirah and towards Allah SWT. And the nafs is what's dragging us down 
towards the shaitan and towards the 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 uh, the desires and and the things that uh, sort of uh, grasp uh, pull us down, so to speak. So there are a lot to there's a lot to cover with that, and um, I really I'm not going to do it justice just by talking about it. Once I um, share my screen with you next week, I'll share that uh, that graphic, and we can really. Uh, uh, cover that in in uh, in further detail, but it's a it's a fascinating uh, it's a fascinating uh, graphic and one that I, I think uh, everybody will will uh, will love inshallah. So one last thing before we we uh, before we uh, end today's uh, session, um, we said that the 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 carpenter's mindset and uh, uh, and the gardener's mindset was. You know the the, the two extremes, um, and one of the things that uh, regarding the, the regarding the gardener's mindset is that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is at the very center of it. So you are you know you're planting your crops and you're putting your your trust in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Whereas the, the the carpenter mindset, you know, there's there's not the same reliance on Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So Again, I'm just going to go through some of the difference, differences between the gardener's mindset and, and the carpenter's mindset. Um, the, 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 uh, the gardener's mindset or the Islamic mindfulness, um, so there's, there's different, uh, there's different uh, ways to, to, uh, to cover that uh, gardener's mindset. Um, some people call it the Baraka culture. Uh, some people call it Islamic mindfulness. Some call it, some call it the, the gardener's mindset, like we said. But the, the, the idea behind Islamic mindfulness is that it's centered on Allah SWT, number one. Number two, it's concerned with your emotional well-being, yes, but it's also concerned with your spiritual well-being. Whereas the, the, the worldly mindset is just concerned with your emotional uh, well-being, right? So there's a connection between your spiritual and emotional well-beings that uh, that is addressed in the Islamic mindful uh, mindfulness mindset. Um, the Islamic mindfulness uh, uh, traditionally cultivates the heart, whereas the the worldly uh, mindset cultivates the mind. Okay, so. The otherworldly uh, mindset also centers on um, this, uh, centers on the, the, the physical body, whereas the the baraka uh, or the Islamic mindfulness uh, mind, mindset uh, connects the body and the soul. Remember when we were talking back in, in February, we said that the so, you know the the you know we're made up of the physical being as well as the as well as the soul, right? So. The Islamic mindfulness addresses both, okay? Um, and then there's a, uh, a foundation towards Islamic mindfulness that's based on, um, on, on spiritual intelligence. So spiritual intelligence uh, and, and in, in, in this world's uh, mindset, there's emotional intelligence. And again, in, in my mind, spiritual intelligence focuses in and covers emotional intelligence, right? So um, these are all in, in important uh, concepts that that um, that we'll address in, in in the weeks ahead, inshallah. Um, today, I just wanted to review a couple of these uh, 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 important concepts from our, our first session. We'll be going more and more in, in depth, uh, and. I will have the, the ability to share my screen uh, next time, so that we can see the um, so that we can see the uh, uh, the model the, the the model of the Islamic soul, uh, the model of the uh, the Islamic model of the soul that uh, that uh, Dr. Rothman uh, took uh, took uh, us through uh, as a part of this class. So. Um, Again, uh, I, I want to have these sessions to be interactive. I want them to be uh, back and forth sessions. I don't want it to be where I'm uh, 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 
strictly uh, lecturing everybody. Uh, but if if uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put uh, punch them into the um, into the chat, and um, I like I said, we'll prepare uh, the 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 Kahoot challenges and and the, uh, and the other sh items to share for 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 next time, inshallah. So. I guess one item I'd like to, uh, to 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 see is what did you use from the from the from the first session? What did we uh, implement from the from the first sessions? Uh, how you know how did we uh, apply these? Are there still issues that are blocking you from realizing your best self and realizing some of the things that we talked about? Um, I know we talked about. Uh, focus sessions, having focus sessions three times a day, 25 minutes. Uh, we focused up, uh, on um, the most important tasks, getting them done early, right? So uh, we talked about exercise and sleep. All these things come together to help us live the best version of ourselves. Um, so I, I hope you guys are, are implementing these things, but I'm interested in anybody um, with any experience saying, I, I tried this at work, I tried this, but I'm still not getting it to where I need to be. Has anybody tried the, the hour and a half sleep cycles? How, how is that working for everybody? So just speaking for myself personally, I I uh, I do actually uh, sleep an hour and a half cycles, and it, just finding out about those hour and a half sleep cycles has made a world of difference for me. So I'll I'll sleep uh, within those hour and a half cycles, uh, and I get the most out of uh, out of my sleep. And even though my children will tell me, you know, I'll wake up typically three or four in the morning. Um, and and I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, so the sleep cycle helped helped for, uh, definitely helped me uh, get up early, get a good start to the day. We also talked about taking a good sh you know a good cold shower in the morning. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily popular with a lot of people, but um, I, I definitely highly recommend it. Okay, um, I guess most of you are shy, but um, <laughs> we'll end it here, uh, and, and then we'll uh, we'll start up next Wednesday, inshallah. And like I said, I'll send out a uh, I'll send out a a, 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 a new link, uh, and and there are new tools that we're looking uh, to incorporate. Among them is Kahoot, like I said, but maybe uh, uh, maybe Zoom and and uh, uh, and other tools. Now, um, for the for the for the exercise that I'd like you all to uh, apply uh, this week for next week is notice anything that bothers you during the course of this next week, and write it and write down why it bothered you, uh, and write down any observations that you feel um, were were uh, related to that. So. Write down any observations regarding anything that bothered you during the week and why you think that item, uh, uh, you know, that particular thing bothered you. Is that clear for everybody? Notice what bothers you throughout the week. Take note of what happens and how you reacted or responded. And I'd like you to come uh, next week uh, sharing sharing that observation. Okay. Jazakum uh, khair for joining. Subhanallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wal 'asr inna al-insana la fi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa 'amilu s-salihat wa tawassaw bil-haqqi wa tawassaw bis-sabr. Sadaqallahul azim. Assalamu alaykum.